Um, I'm making this uh, video so that we can figure out how to get to our fonts that come on our software package with all the Win PC Sign 2010 version and there's a ton of fonts that are really really cool in there and how we do that is I have my Win PC Sign program pulled up I've got my dongle in my computer and I've got my CD in my hard drive so or my DVD so I, I'm ready to go then come over here and make sure that you click the T for the text and click the F up here on the toolbar and under true the fonts here you have true font the cutting fonts and then you have down here search and catalog catalog is what you need to push and once you push that um, it's going to go ahead and it's going to start your hard drive in motion so it's going to pull up the fonts for you um, from from your hard drive and it's going to bring all those fonts forward for you so you can you can go ahead and, and pull those fonts up and you can see it's it's working here it's y, the Y2K bug that's one of the first fonts and uh, it's got a lot of them to load up because there's a ton of them on here that are some really cool ones for decorative whether we're doing rhinestone or signs or t-shirts or silk screening or whatever so these fonts are, fonts are going to be able to use be used for a lot of different things so just be patient let it go ahead and load everything up and at this point it's all loaded up you can see these are different fonts than what we would normally have in our true type or our cutting and each time that you have these in here um, if you go back to true type or cutting you're gonna have to reload them because they're not in your hard drive they're on the CD so I'm gonna go down here and pull up um, let's go to three prong because that's a really cool I think font so I have um, my three prong over here and I want the capital letters so I go ahead and I click on that and I want to preview what they all look like so it's kind of fun that we have these previews too so I want to preview it so I like what I see so I hit OK, okay come over here with your marquee and click and then you you're ready at that point to use that font without actually putting it into your hard drive and I'm just gonna go ahead and you know type in ADF and for um, the apparel decorating form and when I do that I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit larger for us it shows you what that that font looks like um, if I go back now and I decide that I want a different font I'm still in that thing because I haven't I'm it's still reading from the hard drive I haven't gone to true type or cutting so let's just go ahead and change that to a different one and that that's a pretty cool one too and that would be very cool actually for rhinestones so just for the heck of it let's let's set that to rhinestone and, and see what that looks like you know, in Ryan, so let's go ahead and go to a 13 um, SS stone and stone that. Now that that I think that is very very cool. I'll show you one more thing as long as we're here. Um, the reason it's showing up like this without um, lines that are solid is there are two um, little X's over here, and one of them is actually an outline. And when you click that, it takes that outline away. And I don't like to see the outline when I'm working. I like to see a bold dot. So that just take that off if you don't want that, and then put whatever color you want for on those dots. So that's just uh, another another little way of of doing this and how to get to your fonts.